I'm Rich Superfine, and I'm a physicist at uh, UNC Chapel Hill. And uh, I study forces of things, and that's uh, what a physicist typically does. Simply put, life moves. There's a new perspective emerging in looking at the molecules biology, not as kind of pieces in a structure or pieces which chemically react to e with each other, but where those molecules actually act like machines. You can look at some of these biological molecules and they look like motors, or they look like cars, or they look like cables on a bridge. And so this perspective of looking at biology as this dynamic, in a sense, machine gives an entrance to a physicist to actually enjoy and delight in the wonder of biology. If I showed you images of some of these proteins that act like molecular motors, that's what they call the molecular motors, some of them actually have two feet and they literally walk along filaments that travel throughout the cell. So if you actually looked inside a cell, what you'd actually find are these filaments that are racing across all directions, kind of almost like a tent, like one of those pole tents. And what you find those stiff filaments are doing, they're microtubules and they're called actin filaments, is they both support the cell and give it rigidity. But they also act like highways, in a sense, for these molecular motors to walk along. And in doing so, they transport proteins, packages of nutrients across the cell, and they also transport things like viruses to bad effect inside a cell. So now understanding both how those processes happen and, for example, how cell division happens, how a cell divides, you have to understand those motors and how proteins act like